practice test. We're in subpart 2, so you could use your calculator if you wanted to. Um, question number 21. In the table below, four functions are shown on the left. Find the inverse for each function and mark the letter for the inverse on your answer document. So when I do inverse, of course, you're just going to set it up in, instead of f of x, I might say y equals the fourth root of x. And to do inverse, I'm just going to switch the order of these two things. And then I'm going to solve for y. So this becomes y and this becomes x. It's kind of helpful sometimes to look to see what opposite operations exist. So I need to get rid of the fourth root, so I'm going to raise it to the fourth power. That'll cancel that out. x to the fourth. So, And then this becomes inverse function notation. So this one goes to d. That's my first one. That was pretty easy. Most of these are actually pretty easy considering. I'm going to increase the size of my eraser so that doesn't take nine years. So for this uh, second one, I'm going to rewrite that as x equals 2y minus 10 and then just solve it as normal. This is 1x plus uh, over 2, I'm sorry. I'm actually going to separate these out, 10 divided by 2. y is equal to 1 half x plus, this is a 10, so 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this one, f. For the next one, switcheroo get rid of that now that I don't need it so subtract 3 from both sides to get rid of times 1 7th you can divide by 1 7th or you can just multiply everything by 7 because 7 times 1 7th gives you this and they cancel. So you're able to do that as well. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. y is equal to 7. It's not just times x, it's times the whole quantity. So e, see they're trying to get you by putting g in there. They're the worst. And for the other one, I'm not even going to write the original one. I'm going to go ahead and change it to this. Just to save time, since we've already talked about this process. Times 3 on both sides. Three x minus fifteen. Y. So B. So my answers are D, F, E, and B. And it's as simple as that. Do you need did you need to write all of them out? You probably didn't need to write the first one out. That was pretty easy. But it's in your best interest if you have time, so pay attention to how much time that you have left and maybe this is one that you skip and come back to. That way you can determine what method works best for you. And uh there's your final answers there. So if you write it all out, it's more likely to get the answer correct. So I guess choose your own adventure, but lean uh, kind of towards the side of caution where you do a little bit more work to get better results uh, because you'll miss likely you'll find one or two that you might miss anyway or you'll find one or two that it's easy to miss because of careless mistakes so taking the little bit of extra time to write out the ones that aren't super difficult as long as you can solve equations uh, is in your best interest